Fish AI, artificial intestine for the sustainable farming of healthy fish. I'm Fulvio Gandolfi, professor of anatomy and cell biology at the Department of Agriculture and Environmental Science at the University of Milan. I'm the coordinator of the Fish AI project. Nutrition is a key aspect to improve the quality and reduce the environmental impact of producing enough food for an ever increasing population. Our project aims to develop an in vitro platform that mimics the complex function of the intestinal epithelium. Thanks to the bottom-up creative approach of the FET program, we combine experts in biomaterials, stem cell biology and fish nutrition with a global leader in animal feed production. The development of new fish feeds is an ever-changing and diverse global market. Aquaculture production will need to more than double between now and 2050 in order to meet the food requirements of the growing global population. But at the same time, we need to reduce pressure on the planet's resources. Scretting's mission is to be part of this change and to feed the future in a sustainable way. Traditionally, aquaculture feeds have contained fish meal and fish oil as the primary ingredients. But after extensive research into new raw materials, which have led us down some exciting new paths, we are moving towards becoming independent of these finite marine ingredients. This has opened a world of opportunities to use alternative, innovative ingredients, such as microbial proteins and insect meals. But getting here has been a long process. The development of an innovative tool such as the Fish AI could be instrumental in enhancing our progress with screening new ingredients, predicting and optimizing the efficacy of our feeds, and enabling us to develop diets more readily when the needs or challenges arise. Fish AI, an innovative in vitro 3D culture platform which combines novel fish feeds with a realistic artificial 3D intestine model. What are the essential components of an in vitro 3D intestinal platform? We need fish intestinal cells to create the artificial organ. However, without a suitable support, the cells cannot form a functioning intestine. This is where polymers come into play. A 3D, intestine-like supporting scaffold based on biomaterials is therefore essential. The more realistic the 3D structure is, the more efficient the model will be. In order to mimic the intestine, 3D printing techniques are being exploited. What does the digesta contain? The exact contents of the digesta are currently still studied by molecular biologists. By combining the right components, an artificial intestine can be developed. By maintaining the flow of the digesta through the cell-seeded 3D polymeric scaffold, real-life organ behavior can be simulated and studied. At Biofabrics, we are experts in biofabrication and in developing personalized cell and tissue culture devices. Project Fish AI is enabling us to find new applications for our technologies in animal and nutritional research. This project is also enabling us to find a new wider pool of potential clients and establishing new research collaborations. Alternative fish feeds can be tested directly using the in vitro model. After the calibration of the Fish AI device based on feeding trials, the most promising compositions of the novel fish feeds can be sorted out in a time and cost-effective way. It has the potential to make fish meat available to everyone. Isn't it worth it? Fish AI. We believe in a sustainable future.